Hey, what's going on, everybody? Justin here with my good friend. Tim, yeah, hey. So if you like these kind of videos where he's been joining in, uh, let me know if you want to see more content where he gives his opinions on things or, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I don't know. Or if like, you don't want to open that box, you know, let us no, know. I mean. No, it's too late. Like, I've already <laughs> slated him for, like, 20 videos, uh, yeah, and he yeah, just doesn't yeah. realize it yet. Okay. But, um, yeah, today we're going to be doing the Off the Top of Your Head book tag, and Tim does not know the questions at all. So these are going to be... Purely, this is the purest form of the tag. I wrote down my answers too, but you know, you have to take a grain of salt if I thought about it a little bit or not. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get going. This was created by Gina over at the Library Mouse. I'm gonna leave a uh, see, I'll leave a comment. I'm gonna leave a uh, link down below to her video. Definitely go check it out, especially if you like this video. I think it was a really cool idea. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and get started here with question number one. Oh we got. What was your favorite picture book as a child? Oh, Thunderhoof, by far. Bro, what? Like, I had that right up. Yeah. Bro. Uh, let me know I, if anyone's also a lover what? of Thunderhoof. Thunderhoof? Or? Yeah, Thunderhoof is a picture book about a horse. Um, kind of a weird message in retrospect. I'm pretty sure the horse just gives up his freedom, but, you know... Wow. At the time, I was very fond of that horse. So that's why he's so messed up. I guess. That's right. Yeah. Um. So I wrote down Little Critter because, like, that was like one of the only oh, ones yeah, I could too. like. And then, like, my son has the Little Critter collection, and I wrote down Rainbow Fish. I don't know what the actual title. I probably should have looked that up. There's a bu little book series of like r sparkly rainbow scales on yeah. a fish, and you like. Can... Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was always were really popular in like kindergarten, if I remember. Yeah, I remember those too. Um, yeah. And Where's remember. Waldo? Were like books I always did. I don't yeah. know if those like count, but yeah. they're books, so I figured yeah. they might as well. Uh, number two, what book series did you love as a child? Oh man, uh, there were a lot of them. I was a huge bookworm. Um, Darkest Rising, Susan Cooper is the one that comes to mind. I really like that one. I feel like I should know that, and I don't. Uh, British fantasy. Um, you know, battle between light and dark. They were still in that kind of like post Tolkien era where everything was very, you know, yeah. light versus dark. Uh, I wrote down Del Toro Quest because I thought they were like everyone like read Goosebumps. I read Goosebumps too, but Del Toro Quest was like a legit thing. I don't know. <laughs> that was cool, I even made yeah. a board game for like a school, like an elementary school project. Like, uh, like it was an assignment and that was like the book series I did to like make a board game based on it. So. That's cool. Yeah, those were the ones with like the little gems in the, the gems, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Each book was like, you had to get, Del Toro was like, D was Diamond, E was Emerald. Oh, right. Uh, was okay. like Lapis Lazuli, Topaz, Opal, Ruby, and Amethyst. I'm just assuming. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a bit, but, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Uh, I also like Redwall. That's another one that's well, what? Red, Redwall. The, uh, Is that the mouse? That's the, the mouse that's, one, yeah. Uh, yeah. Who was the bad guy? The Badgers? Uh, no, the Badgers were good guys. It was uh, rats and stoats and wildcats. Yeah. They were... Usually... Aren't Badgers and stoats, like, in the same family? Muscoids? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so are rats and mice, really. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. Yeah, redemption. Yeah, anyways, yep. Uh, number three, the worst book you have read or tried to read? Oh, man. I don't know if I kept track of that. Um, I'll be honest, like... Oh, if I really don't like a book at this point, a lot of the time I'll just give it a few pages yeah. and stop. You know, that's true. Like I, with my nonfiction, especially. Well, I'm not. I read much fiction, anyways. But pretty much all the books I read now, I vet for like before I bother yeah. with them. So I already know they're going to be at least like worth finishing. But they're okay. So a couple years ago, there was one that was pitched to me, and I started it. And I don't feel bad because it was supposedly a history on like a reinterpretation of the Trojan War. I'm like, oh wow, ancient. Like this is like Bronze Age history. That's so great. It, the whole premise of the book was that the Trojan War was fought in, like, Britain, and pretty much everyone mentioned, and all the locations were, like, places in Britain. Oh, yeah. And I was like, um... Anglo-centrism. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, well, yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is, like, the biggest, like, studio. I read the first, like, yeah. couple chapters. I'm like, this has got to be, like, going towards something. And it was not going towards anything. Right. <laughs> the worst, like, pseudo-history, like, I've ever conceived of in my life. And was... I guess I have... Yeah, I, just, I thought that, that's a good too. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, was, yeah. I thought it was like you know, it was like in search of Troy or in search of the Trojan War, and I was like, oh, I thought I, I thought they were just gonna be like you know, Schle uh, Heinrich Schliemann's like Troy wasn't Troy, and it was just somewhere else like Anatolia or something. Yeah, no, no, it was literally like up in, in yeah the UK, and I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> nope, no. Nope. I guess it's not yeah. doing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if I had to choose one, um, yeah. I used to do book reviews for a site a while back, and sometimes we were pitched. Uh, books by aspiring authors who were hoping to kind of break in that way you know they would go to a third tier site like uh like i was on uh, 
<laughs> not really third tier, just, you know, more niche. Yes, I don't mean yes. super third tier, but, um, yeah, there were a couple of those that were sent along that were very rough, very early on in the development process, not ready for other people to read. Um, yeah. Gotcha. Needed some more rounds of editing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe a few workshops and, uh, writing classes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number four, your favorite reading or book memory? Oh, man. Um, I'm going to be super stereotypical here and say maybe reading Lord of the Rings as a kid. That was a, that was a big one for me. Um, Rohan had come at last, gave me the, Yay. gave me the chills. So yeah, yes, that, was, that was really, uh, so I put, uh, a couple years ago when my son was like really, really small, just a couple months old, like I would just read whatever I happened to be reading at the time. I wasn't like children's books or anything, but I would just read them out loud and he would just like fall asleep with me holding, oh. like rocking them. So, like, there, I don't know, there's, like, random, I don't, there's a couple of random books that I can think of, like, there's a book on, like, Vikings and stuff. Like I said, it wasn't, like, kids' books, it was just, yeah. after whatever I was reading, he would just, like, oh, fall asleep. Yeah. That's nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be stereotypical on the next one. Uh, number five, a book you loved as a movie. All right, well, <laughs> I don't read, like, any fiction. There's hardly any non-fiction that gets turned into movies. There's a few. Yeah. Um, but I don't really read, or excuse me, read, read World War II books. I feel like those are, like, all the ones that turn into movies nowadays. Uh, so I have to go with Lord of the Rings. Yeah, great <laughs> choice. Yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah. know, I don't even know if I have another answer for that one. I'm sure there's probably some books I've read that yeah, it's really good. turn um, into a movie. But... Yeah, there are a lot of them I could probably dredge up, but... Just because I've seen it recently, the one that comes to mind was uh, Dune 2. Mm -hmm. That was a good adaptation of Dune. Um, I, you know, I'm going to be a heretic here and say that I might like it slightly better than the novel. But you know, I've never yeah. read Dune, so I don't... I don't know. You know, maybe if I read the book with Hans Zimmer's soundtrack playing in the background, it would be, uh, you know, <laughs> it would be Makes a different sense. experience, more enriched. But yeah. All right, number six, uh, a book you wish they would make into a movie. Oh, good question. You got anything for this? I'll think about it for a second. Okay, uh, I've got a nonfiction book that they should turn into like a stars or HBO series. Yeah. Okay, because like you know how there's like like in the theme of like Spartacus or like HBO's Rome. Okay, we got the Poison King, the life and legend of Mithridates, Rome's deadliest enemy by Adrian Mayer. Bro, this would be the okay. He's known as the Poison King because like he's the guy that made the you know the quote unquote Mithridatic elixir. He would like poison himself every day, so he'd become like immune to it. But he uh, started like the like he didn't start it, but he brought the Pontic Empire in the east, which is around the uh, Black Sea region, uh, during like the Roman Republican heyday, to try to be some sort of like counterweight against like Rome in the west. Uh, he fought Pompey, he fought Sulla, he fought Lucullus, um, and he got his ass kicked quite a few <laughs> times, but he always got like back up and you know until he was like in his eighties and then like people like overthrew him and stuff. But he always, he just had, like, enough charisma to, like, always, like, rally back. And none of those guys ever actually, like, even when Pompey defeated him, it was really, like, in a rebellion of his own people that, like, did it. But Pompey just, like, you know, claimed credit like he always does, right, yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, but he's got, a, there's a couple, like, cool scenes, like, in his history. Um, like, he's the, I shouldn't say cool. He would murdered, he had, uh, how, do, how do I put this? He, he had, like, a secret, almost, like, spy network that worked, and they all coordinated to, like, basically massacre all the Roman inhabitants in, like, a bunch of different cities. Um, and on the same day, like, all the, the mm -hmm. people of his, like, empire, like, rebelled and just, like, over, like, killed, like, all the Romans and stuff. Obviously, like, in yeah. instigated a lot of it. But, uh, like I said, he actually saw Rome for what it was at the time. This is, like, the time when, like, you know, the Roman Republic is just taking over the entire, like, yeah. known, you know, Western known world, so... I feel like he would have a cool, like he's got a you know yeah, he's kind of got like the also, eastern yeah. and western too he's you know descended from Alexander supposed yeah. you know whatever and Her I think it was like Hercules you know and all that yeah. kind of stuff so there's all all that like pageantry and drama and all that kind of stuff too but yeah that's a dramatic choice um I don't know if I can beat that yeah let's see I read genres that get turned into films all the time so <laughs> I'm uh, trying to think that's of one that actually hasn't you know had a major adaptation um. I'm sure it has had at least a TV adaptation, but uh, Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None um, would probably make a really good mystery film, uh, especially if you got... Uh, it probably is a film somewhere already. Um, I'd like to see it. Uh, I'd like to see that film if it exists. But yeah, that's the one that comes to mind. There you go. Uh, let's see. Number seven. A book character that you would like 
as a friend. No. Oh, uh, I mean, like, probably someone like Bilbo Baggins, honestly. Like, you know, some, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, I feel like he would always have food ready. Be That's like, true. Know, yeah, yeah, he'd be a pretty, like, chill guy to hang out with. You know, I feel like a lot of people would go with, oh, uh, the Aragorn types or the Kaladin Stormblessed types, but, you know, would Thomas, you really want to hang out with Kaladin Stormblessed? Like, Aragorn Aragon is too serious, though. I yeah. don't know if he'd really be, like, fun. Yeah. The whole, <laughs> like, he's cool and all. <laughs> I, I feel like he's very specialized. Yeah, the whole evening he'd be, you know, like, tuning into Sephira and, like, missing half of what you said and be like, oh, oh right, I, yeah. I, oh, I thought you said Aragorn from, like, Lord oh, of the Rings. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, Ar oh, Aragorn. I don't know. He's too immature. I, I did say Aragorn, but, yeah. I, thought, oh. I actually thought you were talking about Aragorn. <laughs> 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 Somehow Aragorn is mooched into this Well, I, yeah. I mean, didn't he basically steal that name? I mean, I think he just put an E on dragon and called it a day. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I, I didn't think. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, who would I pick? Let's see. I don't read a lot of fiction here. Um, it was a, what was it a what was it, a book character? I don't know, do like real people count as care. I guess they are characters. Yeah, I mean, um, as presented by like Andrew Roberts, Napoleon. Well, I did not like Napoleon. Yeah. As oh yeah, I mean, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got a good one for a fiction book. I, I want Conan the Barbarian as a friend because I feel like he would be fun. <laughs> He would be fun. Because if we're actually friends, he's not going to, like, That's you know, true, yeah. work me. You By know? definition, he's not going to, like, just strangle you or something to take your throne. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but if I was just, like, one of his, like, friends, like, I'm just one of his, like, war One man. of his cohort, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. He There'd might be drinking parties all the time. I feel like it's Conan, though. At some point, he's going to, like, expect too much of you. It's like, uh, you know, could you just, like, you know... <laughs> throttle that wild bull for me over there you know i can't really get to it you know it's true but if i actually made it to be conan's friend i probably could do it or at oh, least have okay, a, so, yeah. an attempt to do it i suppose it's true. like yeah maybe i should go for aragorn if i get like benefits I'm no gonna, yeah. he's just gonna make you yeah like, like administer like the logistics that's and, like, true he'll, he'll be like, and, like super like, noble and yeah. super you know like uh, thank you you're advice is appreciated and that's then, what i mean yeah. he wouldn't be fun no like, i'm going by no. fun factor here yeah historical we, people i don't know i'd probably have to find some sort of like i don't know some sort of like i don't know greek person that just threw symposia all the time so you would all just like get drunk on like wine talking about philosophy yeah it's, it's <laughs> like, that's literally like, yeah. some rich guy some rich greek guy <laughs> yeah that's true uh all right so da -da 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 -da, number eight a place you want to visit because of a book you read oh man I this could be fac fiction or real fiction presumably. or nonfiction. Okay, no, it's just a place. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah. I mean, we probably some kind of fantasy world, right? Yeah. yeah. Of course, she doesn't want to come Magic up. Magic and all that. I do have animals here. She never. Oh, never mind. I lied. I don't have animals around. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, probably like some kind of cozy fantasy universe would be the optimal choice, right? You know. Yeah, but if the hero like loses, don't like you just get them blown uh, up or something. Uh, like D and D is always kind of rolling um, along or something like that, you know. And you could pretty easily make yourself immortal just by so studying Sophia, for a while. For those and, who don't know, and then of course Daisy's gonna be jealous and. Come on Show in. up yeah. as well. Easy to. Um, okay, so I, I I put down like a real place. Um, I put down Patagonia, um, or like the Andes Mountains and stuff, just because everything I've read about them is just like really cool. It just seems, aw like charming, but like in a not cozy way, like charming, like in a like almost a like grand. I don't know. Almost yeah. like yeah, if you took like Middle Earth, but put it like in a real place. Obviously, there's New Zealand, but I feel like the Andes Mountains are kind of like a close second there. So you take it over the video, Daisy. All right, and this is yeah, this is Daisy too. Yeah, yeah. Your star, Merlin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number nine, nonfiction. A nonfiction book you would recommend. Hmm. He does read some nonfiction. I do read some nonfiction. Yeah. Um. Actually, it's right here. I really like The Rise of Theodore Ooh. Roosevelt. Uh, where, where did you get that recommendation from? I can't think. I'm sure it was a YouTube channel of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's like one of the only modern people I read, modern-ish people I read about. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pick The Story of More by Hope Jarin. Um, so whenever I get into arguments, I won't say arguments, whenever I get into debates or discussions with people about climate change or the environment, 
things like that. This is a nice, concise, down-to-earth book that's easy to read, and it's just facts, and just, just, she has just a really good way of being, like, salt-of-the-earth type. You read this book, and you'll understand, like, a whole bunch of the facets of, like, the, we got, like, you know, the agricultural problems, the climate problems, the water problems, all kinds of stuff, um, and I just feel like, like, after you read it, like, if you argue with that book, I can't help you. <laughs> so, I, that's the one I'm going to recommend. Or, I recommend a lot, actually. Yeah. And number 10. Dun, 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 um, if you could hang out with an author all day, who would you pick and why? Oh. Living or dead? Mm. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Who would I hang out with all day? Um, I mean, let's be honest, I'm probably... Like, not going to be able to keep up with real, like, party mm. animals at this point. Um, so, you know. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> well, you know, I have my ear up, but yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know, like, probably just someone fun, I guess. I mean, I probably want to hang out with Tolkien a little bit. Uh, again, like I've said, uh, Yeah, but what if he makes you just, like, sit down and you just do, like, rando linguistics all day and don't really, like, do anything. Yeah, there's always that possibility. You know, just lecture at me like one yeah. of his classes. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Like going off like this is this yeah, is the syntax of Cinder in here. But of course you didn't realize when I put this in the book that it was just nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the language of trees yeah. I thought gives quite a bit of thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I put down just out of pure I don't know, selfishness. I put down David Attenborough because he's written a lot of books actually. Yeah. And Obviously, we wouldn't do, like, a ton of stuff. He's, like, 90, what, 97, 98 now. But I just feel like I would be able to learn a lot from him. Just, yeah. like, all the places he's been, all the things he's been able to do. But he also understands the problems of everything going on as well. You know, and he's actually been one of the people that has, like, you know, brought that to the forefront to a lot of people. So, I don't know, just getting some kind of insight from him. I don't know. I, I just feel like it would be like a philosophy lesson without being a philosophy lesson. That's a good point. I don't know. Yeah. One backup for me um, would just be like one of those gotcha things like, uh, you know, William Shakespeare just to prove he's on Earl or something. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pick Homer in this yeah, case. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The Gowan poet. We'll <laughs> be able to understand a word gonna, they say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's going to end up being like a hundred. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to pick yeah. Homer and yeah. they're all going to populate like not every right, bard yeah. from <laughs> <laughs> the irony. <laughs> yeah. Just going to have to go into a giant bar full of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So there you have it. That was the off of the top of your head tag. Um, purely off the cuff from Tim here. Like I said, if you like these kind of videos, yeah. or if you want to see more Tim, let me know down below, and I will force yeah. him to do more videos. Sounds fair. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah. He doesn't realize. Um, mm. I'm going to tag a few people. Um, and these are so a few... Um, kind of smaller channels i don't think i've ever tagged before actually i lied i think hannah's is like bigger than mine so for just disregard what i just said um but i think they'll have really good answers they got really cool insights and discussions on like a lot of their answers on like other tags and videos that they do so um here we go we got al from big hard books and classics uh anya at well traveled books and thank you for the nature tag that you did i'll be doing that shortly and hannah over at hannah's books like i said they all have like really good kind of discussions on their channels i highly encourage all of you guys to watch them as well so there you have it that was the off the top of the head tag and i think, I think we killed it yeah i think we did a good job yeah this is all t uh, these like, are the objectively right answers everyone yeah so uh, yeah you yeah. can't actually disagree with yeah, anything yeah, we you said but um even if you do whatever you end up reading in the next couple of days always remember read victoriously <laughs>